it was a risk uh, i actually didn't inform my family about it because i knew if i told them they would not allow me to go there because of how dangerous that was i did feel a bit scared as well uh, but i thought if it was a risk worth taking i mean if i had to die in a situation it would rather be while helping someone than dying in a car accident my name is sitara i come from the northwest of pakistan and i'm the first female graduate of my village i joined the red cross back in 2005 when a devastating earthquake hit the uh, pakistani side of kashmir and that was the biggest earthquake in the history of the country while working on the earthquake uh, related activities intense fighting broke out in the northwest of uh, pakistan towards the tribal areas and there were more than 2.5 million people displaced the armed groups that were controlling that area were extremely conservative and they sent clear warnings to organizations not to bring any female humanitarian workers uh, the whole region is very mountainous and it was getting freezing cold uh, our colleagues were making a list of things that uh, that we would bring to people to help them cope with the winter but we had no idea uh, how many women there were in those tents and uh, what exactly they might need only a woman could talk to them so i went to the idp camp with my colleagues and as soon as we reached the first camp uh, we were stopped and surrounded by a group of you know maybe 15 men all of them had guns and they asked my colleagues um, why they brought a woman after they had been clearly warned that no female humanitarian worker is allowed in the area and my colleagues tried to explain but they were not very keen to listen the conversation got more and more intense and finally i intervened and i said listen If you want to kill us you all have guns and you might as well kill us here but then i have another suggestion for you you go and kill all your women and children with the same guns because if they don't get any help they will freeze to death in this place finally i was allowed to go uh, and i was able to talk to the women and afterwards many other female humanitarian workers were also allowed in the area so eventually people were helped as we wanted As a humanitarian worker, you always want to make a difference, and that was my chance to make a difference. 